Hi, this is Angie with My Cricut Closet, and this is part two of my video. Um, part one, um, we just showed you the basics of the Cricut Expression 2, how to add images to your mat. Um, here in part two, we're going to do the application part. We're going to take what we learned in part one and actually um, make a card. So um, we're going to go ahead and get ready. Got my Expression 2 out, and the cartridge that we are going to use is the art philosophy cartridge. Okay, if you don't have this, I would recommend looking into it because this is an awesome little cartridge. But you could take um, what we're learning with this video and you can apply it to the cartridges you may already own. Okay, and this is our book. I'm going to get my little book out. Um, here's the book, and the project we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and make this. Um, Rosette birthday card. Every uh, cartridge comes with a book and has a little project to make in the front. And I'm just going to show you how to make that. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the one that I already made. Isn't that cute? I love these flowers. And these are all images cut from the Art Philosophy cartridge. And it's all using the basics that we just learned in video one. So we're going to go ahead and take our Art Philosophy cartridge and we're going to put it over here on this side. And as soon as we put that in, the expression is going to recognize it and see it's already pulled it up. Now let me just show you. Now down here in the left hand corner, now instead of a picture of a little cricket, we've got a picture of a cartridge. So now you can see this is no longer grayed out. And since we don't have an Imagine cartridge in, that's still grayed out. So we could choose which one we want to. If we wanted to switch back over to the preloaded cartridges, we could. But we're going to stick with... Um, this one. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to follow the directions in here pretty much pretty close and the first thing that we have is um, on page 52 oh, I should have zoomed out a little bit I'm just going to go ahead and show you these pictures in the book and then I'm going to zoom in and show you on the, on the cartridge or I mean on the screen so this is page 52 and um, it's the oval 4 is what which image we're using, but we're using the card feature. So that's over here. Um, so on our machine, we're going to find the card button right here. We're going to click on that. And that is this one right here. So we're going to click on that, and now we've added that to our screen. Wait a minute, I think I grabbed the wrong one. Let me delete those. It's this one right here. See, we can also tell on here um, it shows us where at on the screen we can find it. So we've got our card and we want this card to be five inches. So we're going to click on that. We're going to zoom back in now. All right, five inches. So just click on the image. We're going to edit it with a little pencil and we're going to click here. 2.75 is where it's at, and we want 5, so let's just click up until we get to 5, and then save, alright, and now the next image is our oval, and it is on page 42, and I don't want to keep zooming in and out, but I will show you on page 42, um, right here, this little, it says oval number 3, and it's not a creative feature, it's just the actual image. So we'll just click here. So nothing right now is selected. And we'll find this down right here. And again, it shows us in our book. Find it right there. It shows us where it's at on there. You can also count your pages and number them, like I've seen some people do, but I've not really found a need to do that yet. So I'm going to click here and the book tells us all the dimensions we need and for this we want this to be two and three-fourths so it says it added it as a five 2.75 is where we want to be with that and we're going to save we're going to save again alright so now the next thing we need to do is add our little flourish Okay, and that is on page 50 of the book. Oops. Okay, so we're on page 50. Um, it says tag 3, and it's over here. So it says font layer, 
So we're going to go to our machine, and let me show you also real quick it's, where it's showing us up. is one, two, three, up. All right, so we're going to go to the, the decorative font layer. Um, I do want to make sure you understand this one thing. See, this is called font, and this is called font layer. So on here, it's called decorative font. It's this one right here. Okay, and third one up like we counted, and that's this right here. All right, and we want that to be one and one fourth. And again, we're just going by the dimensions that the book gave us to make this project. So it's real easy. We don't have to figure anything out. All right, one and one fourth. Okay, so 1.25, save, save again. All right, and then the next thing we're going to add is the little heart. Um, and that is on page 69. And let's see. Page 69 of the book. And that's right here. And it's the font feature. And it says um, banner number six, but it's uh, the font feature. And it's this right here. So since it is the second one, um, this we will hit shift for this. So let's undo this one and go to font All right, and it shows us in our book that it's over here but we want to hit shift first and it's this one right here on the bottom and the book says something like five or six let me see again I think it has two different sizes one's five um, and one's six inches and I cut these two little hearts out at two and a half and three so I am just gonna cut one for this demonstration and it says cut one at three and one at four but I like the smaller one so I'm gonna go with two and a half you know and again this is you know however you want to do your project so. so I'm going to click here go to two and a half now let's go to two and two and three quarters hit save all right, and hit save again. All right, so now we've got all of our images. I'm going to show you this on our mat. Okay, so we've got all four images. If we cut that out like that, it's going to be kind of hard to get our paper layered. So what we want to do is go back and use those things that we learned. Go back here. All right, and we want to add a space in between here. There's our space button. And let's go see what that looks like. All right, so that moved that down here, and that wastes a bunch of space up there. So let's go back, and let's use another one of the features that we learned. Let's click on this, edit it, and we're going to turn this 90 degrees so that it's sideways. Okay? So if you were wondering what you might want to use that for, that's one of the things. All right, so let's see. All right, so now we got that over there. Now this flourish is a little bit too high and too close to this. So, and these two are too close to each other. So let's go back here and let's click return. Check on that. Okay, now see it didn't take it back down again because the return is actually up here. So we need two returns. All right. And then we want a space in between these two. And let's see how that works out. All right, looks pretty good, huh? So now we can take and use our brown cardstock and cut it over for here. And let's zoom in just a little bit on this, just this matte part. You see all your little grid lines, right? So you can go in and say, okay, this is this is one box is one inch. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven inches so you can cut a seven by one two three four five I would cut six so seven um, by six inches for that you can cut your cardstock and lay it right there in that corner and then if we come over here it's one two three I'd probably do three and a half and then one two three four and a half for that one and then we'll do the same thing down here for this um, one, two, and then one, two, three across, and then for this one, two, th whoops, my line of my camera is in the minute. Wait, 
one, two, three, and then three across as well. So I'm going to do like a three and a half by three and a half square for that. Okay, so I've already done this once because you, you saw the other um, card that I did. So you'll, I've already laid everything out on my mat. So as you can see, all my papers laid out. Okay, so let me do some adjustments with my camera and then I'll show you how to cut this.